Hello from Australia. I have a women's retreat coming up soon, April 9th through 15th. In one of the magical, most magical places I know of, Bali. Which, when I first arrived to Bali, God, I think it was like 2005, I had short, <laughs> spiky hair. And I was, I had a little bit of a punk rock edge. And I remember looking around at all these long haired girls and just thinking, there's no way I'll be like that. And just through the, the 12 years of having my own living and initiating in Bali, there's been a, a deep feminine transformation. So it's one of the reasons why I always choose Bali, especially Ubud, which is, which comes from the word Ubad, meaning medicine, as my place to run this work. So this upcoming retreat that I have, um, I'm limiting it to about 12 women only. And the reason why is that if you haven't trained with me before, if you have, you already know this, um, it can be, it's, it's quite powerful and intense. Transformation isn't just a tagline with me. And what we're doing isn't just making these deep connections during the retreat, but you'll be cooking and blossoming for months, maybe even a, a year to come. We're using tools of subtle energetic work, movement, not just yoga, dance, gyrokinesis, Pilates, Feldenkrais, and other what I would call rewiring movements, and really dropping down deep to a layer that we don't usually have time for. And it's helpful when we have someone else holding space for us and witnessing us so that we can drop in there. And the journey we'll be going on is through our roots, through the ancestral imprints that are still influencing us and how to meet them and, and dissolve them, how to honor the gifts that run through our blood, the gifts that are still in our field that we haven't yet met or allowed, really journeying into our pelvis. There can be a lot of imprints and, and fear, both on a personal level and on a collective level and how to make friends with our deepest source of power, which is our vagina, and how to listen to her and allow her deeper sensitivity to come through, to really start to own the power of our sensuality, our sexuality, and also realizing that the power of pleasure isn't something that we do after we get everything else done, that it's essential to our core. Understanding how we take in and give our power away and what it would feel like to start to embody ourselves in a more whole way to really fill our own personal field the energy field that's wrapped around our whole body. To untangle ourselves from the places that, where we drain, where we disempower ourselves, where we still have fear, and where we still are looking backwards and forwards and not yet really in our center. And to own our voice. This is beautiful matrix from our throat to our solar plexus. And you know, it's great if you have your grounding and your pleasure and your sensuality and your power and your heart, but your throat is what names your truth. And to start to allow the softness and the flow, to allow the, the true deep current to come through here. And to even let this matrix, which I've noticed in, in it's almost like a global collective matrix on women, uh, that there's just this, almost like this, 
I call it like this great editor that's wrapped around our jaw in our ears. It really distorts our ability to communicate and hear. And, and now is the time. I mean, there's no, there's no surprise why suddenly there's this huge awakening happening in the divine feminine energy for all genders. But to really take ownership of who we are and to let that delight grow, <laughs> to let that delight flow. So I have a few spaces left. If you're interested, get in touch with me. Cat at catkabira.com. C A T at C A T K A B I R A dot com. And I'll see you there.